boys and girls. Today we are going to be drawing a flower like Georgia O'Keeffe, the book we read the other day. So we're going to be doing something like this. This is a painting that Georgia O'Keeffe made and we're going to do something similar where she zooms in and we don't see all of the flower. It's almost like when you, you zoom in with a camera and you see something close up. So you're going to be needing a Sharpie if you have it or something similar. If you have oil pastels, that's great. If you don't, crayons would also work. And then I will be using liquid watercolour. If you don't have it, you can use pan watercolour, but you can just colour your uh, flower with anything that you have on hand. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're ready to draw our Georgia Cave flower. I'm going to use my Sharpie to start and I'm going to make a dot somewhere off centre of my paper. So this is near the centre, but I'm going to go off centre, make a little dot. And I'm going to start with the centre of my flower. So the centre has the little stamens in. I'm going to go round little, little shapes or little circles. You could do circles, you could do little ovals, you could do little lines just to make the center of your flower. Okay, now I'm gonna do the petals. I want my petals to come all the way off the page because Georgia O'Keeffe really zoomed in. So I'm gonna start here and just take a line all the way out to the edge. And it's like my petals going off the edge and coming back round over here. Now I'm going to make the second petal. I'm going to go up to the edge. I'm going to pretend it's drawing around and come right back in here. Okay, I'm going to keep on going around doing that. Off the page. Maybe I come back in over here. I'm going to go around in this big petal here. And then maybe I'm going to fit two more, so. Okay, and if you want, you can maybe add a leaf or something like that. <laughs> that leaf doesn't too, look too good, but your leaves will look much better. Maybe I can have some smaller petals inside as well. Make sure when you're drawing with Sharpie to connect. Sometimes we forget that just like I did. You have to make sure your lines connect. So if I'm drawing a line here, it connects to the other line. And the other thing with Sharpie, we need to draw really slowly. Okay, so now I've got my Sharpie part done. I'm gonna use Crepa to add some lines on the leaves to make it look a bit more realistic. I am going to be using three colours that are pretty similar. I'm going to be using a dark red, an orange, or sorry, a light red, an orange, and a darker red. And I'm just going to make some little lines on my petals. They start at the, near the centre and go out towards the edge. They're just wavy lines. You can make as many of these as you like or as few. And maybe I'll use the other colour. You can make them long, you can make them short. Maybe they go right off the page. And maybe with the darker red, I'm just going to make some lines in here. So now it's going to be time to paint. I am going to use liquid watercolour. If you don't have liquid watercolour, you can use the regular pan watercolour we use, or you can colour it with anything that you have on hand. 
So I'm just going to start by painting this liquid watercolour. If I use it straight, it's very dark. So without even dipping, no water. I didn't dip in any water yet. I can put it on pretty thickly. And then I can dip in the water. And if I pull it out to the edge, it gets a little lighter. You can see how the, the uh, paint isn't as dark. Okay, so that's the effect that I want on my flower. I want it to be darker here. This petal is going to be a little darker. And the outer petal, I'm going to dip in the water and it's a little lighter. So I'm just going to continue to paint my petals until I've got them all done. Because I used the oil pastel, I can just paint right over it with the watercolour paint. Okay, so now I'm going to paint my background. I'm going to clean my brush in my water and I've chosen green for my background because actually that's all I've got. All my other colours are still in school. So I like the green contrast though. So I'm going to just paint all the spaces are going to be green. You of course are going to paint much more carefully than me. I'm painting fast so that you can see how it's going to look. Oh, better not forget that little space there.
Okay, so now the last thing we need to do, I just want to paint the, uh, to do the center and the leaf, and I'm gonna go back to my oil pastels for that. I'm gonna use this darker purple so that my little center, my little stamens really contrast against the orange. Okay, and my leaf, I'm gonna do in a little bit different green from my background. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you get a chance to try it out. I have tagged it as a third, uh, yeah, a third grade lesson. And if you click on the Pinterest board link, it will be on the third grade lesson board as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can come back again and see what else we do another day.